Hello there, folks. Hey, this is Joe Wazoo here. This is a very quick video today. It's going to roll a little bit old school concept. We're going to use a set of PM2 pre mapped gateway and one node from Banner Engineering Wireless product. And our goal is to take an analog input at a tank level. And when the analog input drops below some value, we're going to turn a pump on. And then when the analog value goes above a value, we're going to turn the pump off. So we're going to do all this without a PLC. We're going to try to do this with the old Surecross software to set this up. So I've got, uh, this is the radio I'm using right here. It's, this is the, the kit I have is the DX80 G9 for 9 megahertz, 9 megahertz, 900, M6S-PM2. That's what I got. And if I go over here to the software, I'm using the DX80 user configuration tool. Maybe I remember that old software. It's awesome, uh, friendly great i've got the i'm using the banner uct uh i'm sorry bwa dash uct dash 900 cable that's the usb to rs45 converter connected to this thing here and what i've done here in this guy uh is uh well let's go here to uh, we're not gonna do anything with that but we'll go here to device configuration i'm using analog input 5 on here for my 0 to 20 milliamp sensor and I've set up three things on that particular I.O. point. So if you hit the pull down here, you can uh, select the gateway and then your I.O. number. I'm looking at number five, and there's three things I'm setting up. The first thing I'm setting up here is the threshold, okay? So I've got the threshold here set, let me go get here, to 5200. Remember, I'm using an analog sensor, so it's going to go from zero to 65,535 over the range of 0 to 20 milliamps. So here I've got the threshold set to this. So it's going to sound weird, but whenever the value goes above that, it's going to trigger a turn on output. I'm going to come back to this but because we're going to invert this. But in logic, this is going to invert it. So that would turn on the output. And then the other thing I'm going to hit here is, uh, can I get this out of my way? Uh, I want to go to the hysteresis. And the hysteresis for this example, I get set to 30,000. So that means how much below the threshold does it drop before it signals that, okay, it's actually off. So that's the other opposite. And then I want to kind of invert this logic. So I did one other change on this IO point, And that is I went to, uh, where to go here? Uh, oh, invert flag here, this guy right here. You go here. So I'm using this invert flag here. And normally it's set to zero, but I'm invert. And that is causing the invert of this operation to operate here. So this might make sense. Let me go over here to register view and let's watch this happen. So on the register view, if I turn on the uh, auto poll every 500, let's see what happens here. All right. So you can see right now, according to this, uh, it says the tank is full. And uh, we can see that and we can see the value here. So if I go ahead and uh, kind of make a change to my analog input. Let's see if I can get it to go down here. It reads every two seconds. You can actually update that. But here I am kind of changing my analog input value. So there I just triggered it to get down to there. If I take it a little further, let's see if I can get it to read a little more. And I can't remember what, I know I did 5200, but let's see if it's, okay, look where it is now. So the pump is on because I went below some point here, which is I think the 2200 or something. But now, if I fill it up, so now the tank's filling up. Notice the visual here. You can kind of see it filling here. And as we go ahead and up and up, once I go above, I believe, the 5200 here, it should turn off the pump. Let's see here. Okay. And there you go. It's full. Turned it off. And you can see the pump went off here. This is the output. Output number nine. I can also map this to something else. Uh, that's about it. Now, one more thing I need to show you here. Um, we did the parameters here. Again, I just want to reiterate, we did the threshold parameter. In this example, I had set to 5200. We also did the um, uh, hysteresis that set to 3000. And then we also did for this example, uh, the, uh, where to go, invert, invert flag. We set that to a one. The other final part of that is under IO mapping, and this is old school, under IO mapping, I'm going to output or I'm going to link the 
input to an output. Now I have it linked to the gateway here, but I could also link it to node one, node two, or three, or whatever, to the same IO point, but same thing. So I have to link that IO. This is gonna sound weird because I'm taking an analog input and I'm linking it to an output, but this gets controlled based on these parameters we did here, the threshold, the uh, uh, the threshold, the, uh, where go, the hysteresis, and of course the uh, invert tag. Anyway, that's just a quick video. I'm, I forgot how cool this software is. It's the uh, DX8 user configuration tool. You can't go wrong with that. Great product, great easy to use software. And that will retain in this unit. So if I lose power, uh, this is set up via the UCT mapping. Oh, I should say one more thing. On the actual gateway, since I'm doing this mapping here, you need to go into the gateway and turn off uh, the pre map settings and go to UCT mapping. And that's all defined in the manual, but that should be pretty easy to do. Anyway, if you got any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot, team. Have a great day. See you later.